Hey everyone, this is Andy with Patterson Adjuster Training. Have you ever had a roofing salesperson tell you that granular loss on a shingle is damage? Well, stick around and I'll explain what damage actually is. And if you're new to the channel, I really need your help. I need you to hit this little red button down here in the corner. Cody recently had a question about what is actual damage to shingles. And so Cody, thank you for the comment. And I'll do my best to answer this question in today's discussion. So when you're out in the field doing roof inspections for hail, you're probably gonna run across several roofing salespeople who get on the roof with you and point out every little blemish and mark on the roof saying it's hail damage. So for the sake of our discussion today, I want to keep our focus on hail damage in terms of composition shingles. So most insurance policies have been written for losses they intend to cover and losses they do not intend to cover. These insurance policies pay for damage that happens suddenly, accidentally, unless it's otherwise excluded. The important thing to remember about hail is it falls randomly. Hail storms cannot be predicted. You never know if one's going to hit you may rock along for five, 10 years, never get hit with a hell storm, and then all of a sudden you get blasted by two or three hell storms within just a couple of months. So you put a brand new roof on your house, hell storm rolls through, three inch hail damages your roof. That is a type of loss or a situation that the insurance policy is designed to cover or intends to cover. You put a new roof on your house, you expect if I live here another 50 years, I'll have to replace this roof. Why? Because it's going to wear out. It's guaranteed that that roof is not going to last forever. We already know from the moment you put it on, it's already starting to age, starting to wear out. It's guaranteed you're gonna to have to replace that roof. There's a time element associated with that. That is a situation that an insurance policy does not intend to cover. So you have one where you have a sudden accidental event, a moment in time that you can point to, hail storm is covered under the policy. The other situation, things that just happen over time, 20 years roll by, shingle wears out. That shingle is not covered under insurance because it just wears out over time. It's specifically excluded actually in the policy. An event that's expected or guaranteed to happen is not an accident. So let's talk about shingles that just, that just lose granules. So I want you to go to Home Depot, buy a brand new bundle of shingles, bring it back, throw it down in your living room, cut the packaging off, and then take the shingles out of that packaging. You're thinking, why would I do that? Well, I wanna prove a point. You don't wanna do that and you won't do that because you're gonna have granules everywhere. My point is shingles shed granules over time. From the very moment they're pulled off the assembly line, they're shedding granules. Matter of fact, during the manufacturing process, granules are pressed into that mat and they're oversaturated. And so some of those granules, they're gonna fall off. When you put the new roof on, you go out there after a rainstorm and you see a quarter inch of granules in your gutters. Why? Because shingles shed granules, that's what they do. Over time, as the shingle mat starts breaking down with age and deterioration, the shingle mat loses its ability to hold all of those granules in place and they just start popping off at a greater rate than they did when you first put the shingle on. So just because a shingle loses granules doesn't mean it's damaged. So consider this, if a roofing salesperson says, well, these shingles need to be replaced because they've lost granules. Well, when you're on a roof walking around, when you step on those shingles, you're knocking granules off prematurely. Yeah, those granules are gonna come off over time, but you're knocking them off prematurely. So those shingles don't need to be replaced. If loss of granules were a sign of actual damage, then every shingle you walked on on the roof, you would need to replace if that was the case. In terms of insurance, what damage is to a shingle is anything that shortens its service life and its ability to shed water. A roof is not waterproof. It's designed to shed water. 
So any event that happens to that roof that causes it to prematurely wear out, prematurely fail to shed water, that is considered damage under the insurance policy. Because we just established that lack of, just because granules are falling off the roof doesn't mean those shingles need to be replaced. If that was the case, you would have to replace any shingle that you stepped on because you've knocked granules off of that shingle. If you have hail that hits a shingle and it fractures the mat, or punctures the mat, or bruises the mat, that shingle is going to wear out in that spot prematurely. You'll come back in five to seven years, you'll see a, a hole there where that hailstone originally hit and fractured the mat. So when you have a roofing salesperson on the roof with you, typically what they do is they point out these little bitty blemishes or these uh, areas where they're circular in shape, and they say that's hail. Well, first of all, you got to look at it and determine, is it hail? If it is hail, you're going to feel some bruising and some softness or maybe even a fracture. But if it's not hail, then it's not covered. Now, one of the tricks that roofing salespeople use is, well, you can't tell me what it is, so it has to be hail. That's ridiculous. Just because you can't give a cause and origin to every little blemish on the roof doesn't mean it's hail. That's almost like going deer hunting and saying, well, since you can't identify that track, then it has to be deer. That's not true. Just like deer have their own unique footprint, hail is the same way. It has a unique footprint or it has a unique damage characteristic, cause and effect. I know it's a point of contention when you're out on roofs looking at roofs for damage from hail because you have people on the roof pointing out all kinds of crazy things that's not hail and it's not damage. So again, damage from the insurance perspective is anything that causes that shingle to fail prematurely in its ability to shed water. Losing granules is not damage. That's what shingles are designed to do. That's what they're expected to do. Just because they lose granules doesn't mean they're damaged. If that was the case, you would need to replace a shingle every time you get up there on it. Anyway, guys, I hope that video helps. I will see you in the next one.